So ever since I was a young girl, I wanted to help people. I wanted to have a career that had an impact, and it was very important to me. And so I began, uh, I started out on my career when I was six um, by teaching a young girl named Emily. And Emily actually had come from the Cabbage Patch, and she wore a pink and white check-in jumpsuit to school every day. And she, she wore her hair in sort of a, a mohawk type of thing that I think was made of yarn. Uh, but Emily was a really great student, and, and she flourished under my ins inspirational teaching um, to the point that she even became a teacher herself. And she taught some of the local bears and penguins and Barbies and even some porcelain dolls. So I was really happy with Emily's success, but um, you know I had already been a teacher, so I kind of moved on over the course of my childhood and, and tried to look for other ways to help people. Uh, by the time I was in high school, the current plan was to be a doctor. I remember having a conversation with my guidance counselor about my academic path and, and how much I liked instant messenger. So I asked if I could take a programming course, and I remember my guidance counselor um, being really genuine and really looking out for me and saying, Vanessa, you're going to be a doctor. You're going to do great things. You should definitely take another science class, uh, but not computer science. Uh, so I didn't take the programming class, because I didn't know that much about it anyway, and, and I went ahead with my path to being a doctor. Um, by, so by the time I went to college, I had decided to try to study to be a biomedical engineer. And I'm not sure why I chose the most painful path to becoming a doctor, uh, but, but I did, and, and through, through that chance, I was able to take a computer science course. And, and by the end of my first year of engineering, I could see nothing but, but ugly dollar signs and student loans when I thought about the path ahead of me and how much time it was going to be before I could really help people. I saw having to get a PhD to be a biomedical engineer or an MD and, and serve residency and do all these things to become a doctor. And, and I saw through computer science I could get out a lot earlier and maybe make some money and maybe I'd figure out how to help people once I had the money or something. So I, I, sort, of, uh, I sort of just on a whim decided that I kind of liked it and it seemed like a, a shorter path to, to earlier gratification, maybe being able to do something. Um, but I think something that I, I started to see then but has become even more and more evident to me as I've worked as a programmer, as I finished my degree and, and have worked both professionally and been able to volunteer doing programming is that computer programming is about people. It's really about uh, expressing human ideas in a way that, that allows technology to help us accomplish what we want to accomplish. And I think that that entire principle was sort of lost on me as, as a young girl thinking, you know, maybe it's just instant messenger, maybe it's just a little bit of something. Um, but I really think that, that coding is a way to build communities and, and really, really further humanity. Um, and I wish that maybe I had thought about it that way uh, when I got started and before I spent so much time teaching Emily, maybe. Um, so some of the organizations that really make this clear to me are, are initiatives like OpenMRS. It's, it's actually an open source free medical record system that is, is helping people all over the world, especially in developing countries, keep track of their medical records in a way that um, expanded information technology uniquely allows them to do. These are people that maybe wouldn't have access to healthcare at all otherwise, and now they're able to have healthcare, have more productive healthcare because they have the information to keep track of their experiences. And, and the, the impact of that software that only really needs to be built once is tremendous. Um, there are a lot more examples like that, especially in disaster relief. There's, there's software that helps people find each other after, after a disaster. Um, for, for Haiti alone, $11 million were raised by a text message, just by a text message. So I think that's, that's a pretty big impact. Um, uh, there are other organizations like Donors Choose. It's a website that allows people to donate directly to classroom projects and really make a difference on specific projects and connect with people. And, and I, when I see some of those more humanitarian initiatives, and I also see some for-profit initiatives. Um, one example is Facebook. Facebook is a network of 500 million people. And whether I like that they email me all the time or not, um, it's, that's, that's tremendous. That's the biggest network that exists, period. <laughs> and, and it was all built by you know, whatever you think of a, a guy in his dorm room just programming and, and trying to accomplish something for people. Um, and so what I'd like to share with you today is that um, we're actually right in the middle of Computer Science Education Week. It spans from December 5th to 12th, and I, and I hope that you keep in mind that that is what this week is about and also that you spread the word. 
that computing and computer programming specifically is a really is a really great way to impact humanity. It has a lot of potential to magnify the impact of any work that you do. I know that as a database engineer, when I solve a problem, uh, the number of people that are affected by what I did is, is, could be in the millions. And I only have to solve that problem once thanks to leveraging computers and leveraging technology. And I just think um, the tremendous potential for impact that we have by harnessing computer technology with, with humanity in mind is great, and, and I really wish that I knew that, and I hope that you tell the children that you know, I hope you tell the adults that you know, to maybe, maybe take a programming course and really just kind of think about computer programming in a little different way, because that's really, that's really what it's about, and there's a whole lot of potential if you approach it that way.